Right, uh, good morning, so welcome. Today is the 28th of uh, April. Uh, it's a Tuesday and I'm going to just share with you uh, my working day. I'm Dr. Sohail Khan. I work as an interventional consultant cardiologist at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in uh, Birmingham. So I'm going to take you through uh, what one of my uh, typical days uh, looks like at work. So I'm, I'm just about to uh, leave uh, home and then uh, we'll take a, a short drive to the uh, hospital. So the, the first impact, the uh, change in our rotors has had uh, and the COVID-19 crisis has had is the fact that I'm now having to sleep in our uh, guest bedroom um, because I'm now become a frontline worker looking after patients with uh, COVID-19. So in the last uh, five weeks, I've been uh, sleeping here on my own, uh, uh, away from my uh, family. Right, so I'm going to just say goodbye to my uh, daughter. She's usually up quite early. She's homeschooling like uh, everybody else at the uh, at the moment. So, Amara, so just uh, coming to say goodbye. I'm, I'm going to head off to work now, so I'll see you a little bit later. Okay, see you later. Love you. Bye. Right, so... Uh... I've just arrived at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in uh, Birmingham. I'm just going to make my way inside to the uh, main foyer area. So we're just in the, the foyer at the moment. Uh, the, the first thing you notice as you go in is that uh, we've got these uh, uh, gel hand sanitizers uh, that we are all uh, encouraged to, to use. So we're going to just put on my uh, hand gel and then I'm going to make my way over to our uh, meeting. The, the time is just uh, uh, 22 8 uh, on uh, Tuesday uh, so I'm going to just make my way to our uh, meeting room with social distancing so that we can have a handover from the night team. So I'm, I'm just climbing the stairs to the third floor so that we can have our uh, handover meeting. The meeting is scheduled for uh, 8 o'clock this morning and the purpose of the meeting is to uh, find out what the night team have been up to uh, take over the handovers make sure there aren't any problems on the coronary care unit or the main cardiology wards um, and have a an update about the current uh, number of patients coming in to our medical assessment unit and emergency room with uh, both COVID-19 and also uh, other medical conditions. And the Gupton? Uh, I'm 306. Okay, so I'm pacing and uh, EP of the lab and CCU for half of. I'm available, I've got a few clinic patients, but I think they're mostly tomorrow. I'm MAU. AMU. So I'm just going to start my ward round on the coronary care unit now. Uh, as you can see, I've changed out into my uh, scrubs here. You can see is that uh, we've got some beds that are available and ready for uh, patients. So we receive patients with various uh, cardiac conditions, including patients with acute uh, heart attacks. Seen a decline in the number of patients coming into hospital with uh, emergencies overall, including patients with ST elevation, myocardial infarction. I think there are a couple of uh, possible reasons for this. One may be that uh, patients uh, got the wrong message uh, when uh, we went into lockdown, they maybe got the impression that uh, we were only treating patients with uh, COVID-19. Clearly what we know is that patients will continue to have other medical problems as well and we encourage patients to seek help if they have uh, any symptoms of central uh, chest pain uh, as they would normally by calling 999. Uh, the other reason might be because of altruism. We know that uh, some patients may think that, uh, that other, others may need the bed more than them. Uh, you know, that shouldn't be the case. We have plenty of space uh, available and my cath lab team are and myself are ready and waiting uh, should 
we need to treat anyone uh, with a heart attack. We may be able to see one uh, today uh, if uh, a patient presents uh, during this 12-hour shift that I'm doing. So the ward, as you can see, is very busy. Everybody's uh, working away here. So it's uh, just coming up to 11 o'clock now. Uh, as you know, colleagues have you know, gathered here at the uh, hospital and also uh, patients in the foyer. We're just about to observe uh, one minute's uh, silence for the colleagues who unfortunately passed away. Um, no doctors, nurses, healthcare professionals. Okay, I'm just up on our main cardiology ward now, and uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, consent a patient who is going to go for an uh, angiogram and uh, stent uh, procedure. So we've just taken his uh, permission and he's happy for us to uh, consent him and be uh, recorded. So we'll do that now. We're just here to consent uh, a gentleman, Mr. Cooper, who's been admitted with an episode of uh, chest pain. So Mr. Cooper, do you, do you want to just tell us a, a little bit about what's brought you into hospital? Pain, terrible pain in my chest, and I, I couldn't uh, uh, breathe, and I, I would only walk a few steps. I wouldn't walk to that window there, and I would uh, have pain. I would have to sit sit down right. for about uh, ten to fifteen minutes. Right, right. But then it would happen again. You yes. Know, did anything? Yes. Well, we've already made the diagnosis of a, a myocardial infarction in Mr. Cooper, and yeah. the plan is for him to have an angiogram uh, this afternoon. Now, one of the things that we found because of the COVID-19 crisis is that patients aren't coming into hospital as much, uh, maybe because of a concern about the infection. The messages that we want to get out there is that patients should still be coming into hospital I, if they're still having I symptoms. I can assure anybody who has to come in is to come because it's, I found that the treatment I've received here in the last uh, uh, two days has been absolutely marvellous. And I, I, I would encourage anybody to, to come if they have something uh, wrong with them and get it sorted. Uh, well, I was asking, but I've been taking it. And she's been helping me with the job. Yeah, right, so Mr. Cooper is going to be brought to the cardiac cath lab and we're going to be performing his uh, procedure in here. The team are, team are getting ready to uh, get Hello. his uh, procedure done. Hello! <laughs> you can see they're, they're very enthusiastic about it. So. So we'll get him in here very I'll show you how you need to do proper uh, donning uh, this morning. So the first uh, important thing is to have your uh, uh, lead protected. So I'm going to put this uh, gown on. This is just a plastic gown which will uh, protect my lead during the uh, case. So the next uh, important thing is to put on your FFP3 mask. And you should have been fitted for this uh, already. So this is one that uh, fits me. So we'll slip this on. Um, and then the head visor goes on on top of this. So this is the gown that I'll be uh, wearing. It's a disposable gown. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to just get that ready now. <laughs> and uh, two blocks uh, are opened up on the map. I'm always going to get the text screen right now. Uh, I'm going to get tied up here. Thank you very much. And 
sometimes you might want to have a, a second pair to be uh, a half a size larger, uh, otherwise your fingers might get tight. So take my time with that. Uh, but that's essentially how you would uh, go about doing a, uh, a donning procedure. Right, so uh, it's coming up to eight o'clock now, and I'm just going for my uh, handover. It's been quite a busy day today. We've done uh, three cases in the cardiac cath lab. I've done a ward round on the coronary care unit, looking after acute uh, cardiology patients. Uh, it's been uh, quite tiring, but also very interesting. Uh, and hopefully the patients that we've treated today will be able to go home uh, tomorrow, uh, which is a great service for them. So I'm going to uh, sign off um, uh, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, uh, your day with me today. Okay, all the best. Thank you.